<laughs> it finally came. I know, I know, excuse me, okay? Usually I have a little green screen cringe toe, especially if we're talking some Spider-Man 3 news, but this is a holy special day right here. It only happens once in a millennia, so we gotta go ahead and give it its full intro. What we have right here, boys, is a new addition to the family. <laughs> Guess who's joining the horror fam? Look at all these. Comes from a company named NECA. They're the ones who make all of these right here. Let me go ahead and finish opening it up. A few moments later. Let's finally add your little ghosty. Oh. <laughs> the lineup gets bigger! But now that we have our new family member added to the desk right here, let's dive into all the movie news topics that we have to discuss today because there is a bunch. Some of the things we're going to be talking about is, yes, I'll finally be addressing the Wrong Turn reboot trailer that was released a few days ago. Also, Avatar 3 is finished filming. Where the hell is Avatar 2? And of course, we can't go a single day with at least talking about some Spider-Man, specifically Spider-Man 3. That is so much more, guys. So many of your opinions down below on everything we discussed here today. What news got you excited? What got you pumped up? What do you think of this little ghost face right here if you guys only knew how many times per videos these damn things fall because i'd be slamming the desk hitting it with my chair sometimes it ain't worth it but then i stare at them and i get happy but also don't be forgetting to hit that like button that is if you're enjoying all the movie news i bring to you with side flick all right so let's just go ahead and dive into it because a lot of you were asking my opinion on this and sorry just got busy with other stuff here the trailer for the wrong turn reboot now if some of you guys don't know about the wrong turn franchise you might be lucky you might be missing out i don't really know what to tell you it's one of my guilty pleasure franchises basically it's a horror film with a whole bunch of sequels that just kind of got worse and worse as it went along but the main premise is a group of friends go out to the woods they take a wrong turn and then end up getting hunted down by a bunch of cannibals that live in the woods wanting to eat them up and do other nasty things i always had a lot of fun with the franchise i enjoyed it just because i'm a big fan of movies that start off with a large group and then they get taken down one by one by one just a lot of fun but now we finally got the trailer for the reboot of the wrong turn franchise this will kind of be starting all anew going against what we've previously known and i'm conflicted on this one because the trailer i think is absolutely fantastic i mean as fantastic as a low budget horror movie trailer can be okay i know this movie ain't gonna win no awards or even beat out some of the more upcoming horror movies that we have but really i was not expecting that much from the wrong turn reboot based off everything that we've known before about the wrong turn franchise but this right here is looking really great you finally have some decent actors that aren't also mattress actresses on their spare time. I also am loving the cinematography and the higher quality feel because again with some of those straight to DVD wrong term movies they were starting to feel really cheap but most importantly is just the thrills I think you're going to get once these friends go hiking in the woods and they start coming across all these traps in the woods sort of saw like style. So for me this trailer was a complete treasure because I was actually surprised. My one caveat my one thing that's making me hesitant is it's looking like this reboot is getting rid of the whole disfigured cannibals in the woods now trust me there still seems to be something out there that is hunting these guys down one by one they're called the foundation in this reboot sort of a group of settlers who just stayed living in the woods and decided not to join society and for the majority of this trailer we don't really see them the only glimpses that we get are these guys in fur coats wearing these sort of skull looking masks and i'm thinking okay they're probably disfigured underneath they're just saving that for the movie right here but no bloody disgusting had the exclusive of some images from the film and they pretty much show you what the new villains are going to be looking like and they ain't nothing reminiscent to what we've known from the wrong term franchise i mean looking at these photos here of the people who are behind those skull masks they seem well cut probably living in our society but just happen to take out their fun on these people who go hiking in the woods for some reason along with that also you have another girl here that is going after them you can tell again she's wearing a fur coat but i mean they don't really look like they've been living there their whole lives other than the clothes they're wearing so that's where my confliction comes in because everything seems really cool right now the traps the actors the look of the movie but it's just missing that little key factor that kind of separates it from everything we've known the wrong term franchise to be but maybe that's just me i'll probably still end up liking it but i want to hear from you guys what did you think of the wrong term trailer did you like it did you not like it and what do you think of the changes being made to the franchise moving on to something else that i am extremely excited about that heck let me just pop over there to bring something here 
And that is the upcoming Buzz Lightyear movie currently titled Lightyear that is set to star Chris Evans. I can't tell you guys how unbelievably excited I am for this thing. I am just geeking out at the idea of what's going on. But one thing that's been very clear since this announcement has been made, there is a lot of fans out there and a lot of people kind of just mad because it's not Tim Allen, the original voice of Buzz Lightyear, coming to make this movie. Now again, we've explained already, this Lightyear film is set in the fictional world of Toy Story and is the movie that the toy Buzz Lightyear is actually based off so you know when Buzz was acting like a space ranger and like he was traveling to a different planet we're actually going to be seeing the movie based off that character now. Well, We recently had Chris Evans the new voice for Buzz Lightyear get online and kind of reassure fans about what is happening with this movie so he said right here he assures fans he isn't replacing Tim Allen's performance as Buzz Lightyear and that this one is going to be special and doesn't step on a single thing and that's really reassuring to hear because I think it is going to be so weird to hear Buzz Lightyear talk without the iconic voice of Tim Allen right here. The guy is synonymous with Buzz Lightyear and his voice kind of really encompasses everything that we know so far. So hearing Chris Evans, which I still think is a great choice and perfect for Buzz Lightyear, there is going to be that slight five minutes into the movie where I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. And then at the 10 minute mark, I'll probably be like, Tim Allen who? But I do like how he says there, it's not going to step on a single thing and inventing, it's just going to embrace the character of Buzz Lightyear more. To me, it's just the immense potential that this project has and how far they can go with it and everything that they can kind of accomplish with it because I think there is a lot that could be done with this movie just the visual effects and just the idea of what the new costume is going to be looking like because it's going to be a little more upgraded redefined and even the design of Zerg and if he's actually going to be as menacing as they built him up to be in the Toy Story movies and then what that epic finale showdown is going to be like they have a franchise on their hands and I know Pixar doesn't always do that many sequels they tend to lately but You gotta give me at least three of these Lightyear movies, please, Pixar. But how do you guys feel about Chris Evans' comments that he's not trying to replace Tim Allen, but that he is trying to do something special with it? One thing here going on that I'm like, what? We got here the announcement from someone working on the Avatar 2 set that they finished wrapping Avatar 3. Now that might seem a little odd to you because like, where is Avatar 2? Donde esta esa película? The sequel to the billion dollar franchise that that has been delayed over and over that I think it's just completely killed any hype for this movie, but yet they've already finished the second and the third movie and they're currently shooting the fourth and fifth one. I'm just gonna sound like a broken record until this thing finally proves me wrong, but I'm just like, what are you gonna do if the second movie comes out and nobody cares nobody goes out to see it there's no more hype for it it just does kind of met at the box office compared to what you were hoping with the last one and that's not me talking crap on the avatar franchise i'm willing to give it a shot and be surprised and be a complete fan again i just do think it's been so long since the last movie i don't hear any hype around it i mean they release pictures every other week of a behind the scenes of the avatar set Nobody goes crazy. No one even talks about it. It's not even huge news. To me, when I know something is huge news, when I get you guys sending me like 30 or 40 DMs like, Christopher, talk about this. But again, it's cool to know the movie's finished. It's completed. The other thing about making these movies so quickly next to each other before you even start releasing them, what happens if in the second movie there's a character people hate that are like, oh, I don't like this guy. Get him out of here. But he's like a major part of the third movie. Usually what would happen is a movie adjusts like, okay, they didn't like this part in part two. Let's go ahead and change part three to make this. You already completed your movie. How much can you change when you get your reactions of the people who see the second film? I don't know. Those are just my thoughts right now, but I want to hear from you guys what do you think about avatar 3 being completed all right you know it wouldn't be a day here on the 3c channel unless we're talking about some spider-man 3 and the latest craziness that is going on now something that was just recently reported that i found interesting and i actually thought was fake at first was the news going around that marvel studios and sony have seemingly gone ahead and extended their deal to keep spider-man in the mcu now before diving deeper into the story here i just want to clarify on why i thought it was a fake story the original outlet that was going ahead and posting this around about the extended deal for Marvel was just not a reliable source in my opinion. It was coming from Geek Sit Mag and they're the ones who said Disney and Sony on verge of new deal for Spider-Man right? So that's why I didn't even want to talk about it or make its own separate video on it until I noticed someone I do trust in the industry went ahead and commented about this. This right here is Skylar Schuler, and he's attached to Dis Insider which is an extremely credible website when it comes to everything Disney related. A lot of the stuff that they've reported on I've talked 
talked about here on the channel, and it ends up becoming true in Hollywood. And he basically, in this tweet, calls out this person for scooping this because this was something that they reported on their Patreon exclusive account where they give news to, well, their Patreon supporters ahead of time while they try and verify sources before they can let it go out and known to the public. I hate when people do stuff like this and steal information from other people and pretend like it's their own. So I also wanted to use my platform right here to spread the truth. And this was actually coming from the Dis Insider, which is a credible source and is the only reason I'm talking about it now. So let's talk about it. As of right now, it's being reported. So it's not officially confirmed. But like I said, since the original source now is coming from someone reliable, I do tend to believe it. And I'm sure we're going to get an announcement on this in the next couple of weeks. But Marvel and Sony have gone ahead and extended their deal here with Spider-Man in the MCU. And this right here is fantastic news. Because don't forget that roller coaster ride we went on a little bit where Spider-Man left the MCU for like a good couple months and then somehow got back into the MCU. Sony worked out some sort of deal, but they did not extend the contract at that time. We were still left with two Spider-Man films left, basically a solo movie and a team movie. Those are still in the works. The solo movie will be Spider-Man 3 and the team up movie is unknown. Known. But now with the reports of what they're saying here and what they want to do is one thing they mentioned is that they do want to make a whole nother trilogy. So that's what they're wanting to do is another three films for Spider-Man. They're also saying that Tom Holland's Spider-Man is going to play a pivotal role in the MCU, and that actually super surprises me. All right, so now knowing that, breaking it down, one of the reasons I'm most surprised that they would make Spider-Man a pivotal role in the MCU is because of what just happened where he left the MCU for a little bit and then had to be brought back through negotiations. I mean, Spider-Man is just such a risky character in the MCU that at any given moment, regardless of contracts and deals, he could disappear at any time. So the fact that Marvel wants to put in a lot of risk into someone like Spider-Man, that character, and make him a pivotal role in the MCU just shows a lot of guts. And I think, hey, as a Spider-Man fan, that is awesome that he's going to become an even larger role. It makes sense with people like Tony Stark. Captain America and by extension now T'Challa, Black Panther have left the MCU. We don't have that many big legacy characters to keep continuing on. Of course, Disney announced all these upcoming projects, but they still have to earn their place in the MCU. Spider-Man has already earned that. But the other thing I'm fascinated by, especially now knowing that the current director for the Spider-Man trilogy is moving to the Fantastic Four, that boy ain't gonna have time for another Spider-Man trilogy. So that also means these next couple of films after Spider-Man 3 we're getting a brand new director right there. And well, they already have Sam Raimi on their side working on Doctor Strange 2. How amazing would it be if we get another Sam Raimi trilogy with Tom Holland's Spider-Man right there? Like, that would be awesome. So that kind of excites me for the possibilities of what this second trilogy could look like. And just the fact that we'd actually get the same Spider-Man continuing on with a second trilogy that so far has not been done. Because right when it comes trilogy time for these Spider-Mans... They get rebooted and recasted. I still love the rumor that went around saying that if the Spider-Verse thing works out and we get Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in this movie, that Sony is wanting to go ahead and give them their own solo films. That is Spider-Man 4 and Amazing Spider-Man 3. So kind of mixing that in, I would love for the next trilogy each to take place within a different Spider-Man universe. So then you have Spider-Man 4 take place in Tobey Maguire's world. Then you have Spider-Man 5 take place in Andrew Garfield's world. And then Spider-Man 6, we're back to Tom Holland's world and make that an entire thing a spider verse event and even just the last thing i'll mention there that is just talking about the trilogy there's also extended deals in there about a team up movie another solo movie heck what if they make a disney plus series right here i am shocked with the type of disney plus series that they're coming out with if sony manages to make a deal what if they get the live action miles morales on disney plus Woo! that would be awesome but you guys hear about this report that sony and marvel have come to an agreement what do you want to see be done with the next spider-man trilogy what do you think the future is for the character now that he's a pivotal role i'm thinking leader of the young avengers i want to hear from you guys but that is just all the movie news we currently have going on right now, guys. I want to know your opinions down below on everything we discussed here today. What got you excited? What got you interested? What didn't you care about? I know it's only Spider-Man talk here. And don't worry, the next Spider-Man update, which might be pretty soon. It seems to happen almost every day. I'll get you a nice, juicy cringe toe ready for you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3 Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.